All right, guys, an interesting quick video today. Um, if you got a brake chamber, I watched this YouTube video, 10 minute quick change. It worked, it worked on, on my truck. There it is, there's the new chamber right down there. And uh, it's just half of it. So what you gotta do is throw, um, before you, first step is you vice grip like this, the shaft. on your chamber that's on the truck, right? By the way, we're in the Walmart parking lot. Got it done with Mickey Mouse tools. So uh, this is the part of the shaft you don't need to change. This is the part that is bad, right? The diaphragm, look at that, leaking like a sieve worse. So the symptom was driving down the interstate and I could hear my yellow knob hissing. So you just clamp it down like that Thank God there was a Kenworth dealer that sold me this. So you clamp it down. Um, and uh, basically it goes diaphragm like that. And the rest of the brake chamber like that with this clamp over it, right? Holding it all together. So. First step, clamp the shaft and then put in the caging bolt. You put it in, twist it, tighten it down, and it tightens the spring tension. It's gonna pop up and blow in your face if you don't do that. And then you could unscrew the bolt. I only need to unscrew one. This part fell off, this fell out. Did the same thing on the new one and reverse the installation process. And there it is, boom. Looking beautiful. Only need half of it. So I don't have to mess with that stuff when I just put that on. What do you guys think of my thread locker, the Walmart bag, huh? Do you think that's gonna hold? <laughs> Teflon is Teflon, right? I don't know. Are these bags made out of Teflon? I don't want to walk into Walmart to get another piece of Teflon tape. Felt like I went in there a hundred times today.